Um, I have Andy and what was your name again? Johnny. Johnny. Just wanted to make sure that was on the mic. So, gentlemen, I like to ask, what got y'all started in this? I mean, what, first with you, Andy. Um, uh, what light went off, or what? What did you see that got you involved in this? And the uh, robotics team. Yes. Um, well, I always saw them like working on like hands-on work, mm -hmm. and I always liked hands-on work, and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And also, after the first competition that we went to in, uh, in uh, San Antonio, I saw a whole bunch of people with mascots, and I was like, oh, you know, why don't we have one? So I'm the mascot of the team now. Oh, great. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And what about yourself? Well, um, from a young boy, I always wanted to make things. So I would always kind of like have this picture in my head that I want to be, you know, somebody that makes, well, my main interest was cars, but I always wanted to be like, I want to make cars when I grow up, like be an engineer. So I, I stuck to that. Once I later got on and I moved from Georgia to Baytown, Texas, uh, I kind of, I just kind of stayed by myself, but once I heard about the robotics program, I was like, I'll just see what this is about. They probably make like little Lego robots that kids play with. So I was like, I'll just give it a shot. But when I saw they made like actual 200 pound machines that do all these fantastic things, I was just like, this has got to be cool. So once I saw that video and all that knowledge, I was like, you know, this might be not so bad after all. And then when we French went to our first uh, San Antonio competition, that's when I was like, this is for me. I really want to do this because I could go either with the uh, mechanical team or I could try to try my luck with the uh, programming aspect of it. And uh, I just kind of fell in love with it and I just stayed here. I'm actually a senior, so this is my third year in 1255 and this will be my last year, so I'm actually kind of sad to go. I was going to say, you probably are sad, but uh, as I've understood from uh, Mr. Fox that, uh, you know, there are, uh, you know, because I had told him, I said, uh, you know, I, if I was a kid, I would have loved to have done this as a kid. But uh, he said, well, there's still, you know, you can participate after the fact as far as uh, helping out the other young uh, individuals here, help them guide them, help them build knowledge, help them build communication skills that are essential that you've learned that you get a chance to pass on to others. Has that been the case with you since you're a, kind of a what we would call a veteran? Actually, yes. Uh, when I was, uh, well, when I moved here when I was a soft, uh, sophomore, uh, I was really kind of like, kind of like closed kind of like in my own shell I didn't really talk to anybody but robotics in the first competition really opened my eyes to like help me expand out because they put me at the floor to like interview everybody and you know like kind of scout and that gave me a really good chance to like interact and help me with my social skills because I do have social problems like you know but uh yeah other than that I would actually recommend this because it would give kind of like kids I would want to enjoy this kind of like a uh, opportunity to help them with either kind of like social skills or do they just want to learn something new and something that's in their alley like robotics or technology or electric or electricity or anything like that sort of like if they want to be like an electrical uh, electrical engineer it would be really good practice for them in the long run because they get to learn about voltage and kind of maintaining stuff and I think I think the program has really helped me a lot, and it will help a lot of other kids out too. So Andy, um, since he's been hogging up the whole time here, um, uh, so based on what he's saying, wouldn't you say that uh, this is more than just about robots? Yes, it is actually, because you are, you're just, you know, you you have some so much wires and like uh, bolts, gears, and all that stuff. It's not just like, oh, we have to build this, you know. It's also giving you. It's opening up your imagination. You, you're you're putting in thoughts that are like, okay, what happens if we can use this? And then somebody else can be like, oh, okay, I can add to this. They're just thinking. They're they're just processing, and it all just comes to one. And it would help them, and we build it, see if it works. And if anybody else has any ideas, you know, just come on in. So how does that make you feel that when you uh, you, you basically you met, close your eyes for a second and you have this blank room? And then all of a sudden, you see a light come on, and then it builds from there. Um, and then finally, at the, once you get to the competition, you actually see something that didn't exist before. How does that uh, empower you as far as, you know, your thinking process? Well, it just, like, it amazes me, actually. It's, it's really exciting how I just, like, like you said, it's never been seen before. And then somebody just out of the blue just, you know, comes to one of the competitions and, 
like it's outstanding and surprises everybody and it's, it's really exciting and as far as your hopes for the future what do you hope uh, i mean i know he's uh, getting ready to get out of of the situation he's your, your senior your third year in this uh, what about you how how long have you been in it again and uh, what do you hope for to gain out of this well i am a sophomore so this is going to be my second still time. still a little time right yeah still a little time <laughs> i still got two years um but um what I, what I really want to do is become a mechanical engineer, mm -hmm. learn how to build cars, trucks, um, and other and other stuff that, like my like I said, hands-on work is is the best for me. Um, this also taught me how to like, you know, what goes with what, how to uh, like if you plug this in, this will move, or it, it's stuff like that, and it's it always helped me, and maybe I can get a good run in college, and hopefully later on in life as a job you know, to help me do stuff, and yeah. Well, I'm sure that uh, since both of you are diving into this subject matter, uh, you all are going to be successful. I, we've seen many uh, uh, young adults that come out of this that uh, uh, have wonderful communication skills. They've come out of their shell, so to speak. Um, it's a great way to build, uh, I guess, friendships that you never thought you could have built in the first place. So we just want to thank you uh, for participating with our interviews. And, uh, you know, and like I said, uh, good luck for the future for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.